welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sharifa, and today I'm here to do my Best of Beauty 2016. Best of Beauty, Best of Beauty, say that 10 times really fast. <laughs> I'm just gonna get straight into it. So my favorite foundation for this year is definitely the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I will be honest, I was about to include my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in here, but I realized that was my favorite last year. It's still definitely one of my favorite foundations, but I didn't want to mention it again. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing right now, and um, I'm actually wearing most of these products right now on my face. I love this. I feel like this is just such a good foundation um, for like every day because it's really natural, but it still gives you like a really flawless finish, and it looks great in photos. All in all, it's just a great foundation, and the best part is that the undertone um, is yellow, and it's a perfect match for me. I'm an NC40 with a you know, pretty yellow undertone, and this color is Y405. So then next, I actually have a BB cream that I've been loving this year, and that's the Iman Cosmetics BB cream. My shade is Sand Medium. It is so hard to find a BB cream that actually works for my skin because a lot of them, I feel, are too red. It's not going to offer, like, a lot of coverage, but it just makes my skin look healthy and adds, like, a glow and just evens it without covering, you know? Um, but it just still looks, like, nice, basically. <laughs> I'm so good with words, but I really love this. So if you're looking for a good BB cream for uh, brown skin tones, pick this one up. Next is, um, is that technically a concealer? This is the LA Girl Pro uh, Conceal Corrector. This is a yellow corrector. The reason I love this is because anytime I have a concealer that's a little bit too on the ashy side, it's maybe like too red and not enough yellow, I just add this and it instantly makes it brighter. Um, again, with my skin tone, I feel like I'm gonna say my skin tone a billion times, but with my skin tone, uh, anything that's not like yellow under my eyes looks really ashy and just not good. So um, this helps to brighten it and add that yellow. Setting powders, so I have two. One is a Sasha Buttercup powder, which I'm wearing right now. I just love this. It's it's just so perfect for yellow undertones. Oh my god, I'm getting annoyed at myself for saying that so much. Um, I've tried a couple of setting powders, and most of them just look really bad on me. They say translucent, but they're not really translucent. They're just like white under my eyes. It sets it really nicely, first of all. It just looks really airbrushed underneath my eyes and wherever I apply it. And also, it just brings like warmth and uh, brightness to my face so I really really love this although um, you have to be careful not to add too much because it can look uh, really dry especially if you have dry skin so I like moisturize and exfoliate the crap out of my skin if I use this without doing that um, I'm gonna look crazy it's like a regular powder uh, for under eyes my wet n wild mega glow contouring duo in caramel toffee this thing is incredible it it's so comparable to like the Anastasia banana powder, I, which I recently bought. I don't know why, because I really didn't need to because I have this. But this is amazing. It's in the drugstore. It's wet and wild, super cheap, and just so pigmented. Um, this yellow, I like the brown. I'm also wearing like use that, um, and I really do like it for like bronzing. But it's not a very good contour because it's too warm. But you know, you could definitely use it as a bronzer. Be very very light handed because it is super pigmented, it's so good, and I'm always reaching for it, and I try my, to stop myself, but I feel like I use it like way too much, but I can't help it, it's just really, really good. Okay, eye products. Um, so, my favorite eyeshadow, that's dirty as hell. Look, other YouTubers clean their, keep their stuff so clean, but Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have this in my eye right now. So pretty, the shade, colors are super pigmented, they're really blendable, really buttery, and just, I just love this palette, and um, I wish I had a black, but it's okay. Um, I I still I still really love it. By the way, I filmed this look. Uh, I'm gonna upload a little Instagram mini tutorial because I feel like I've done this look before, but just because I wanted to use all these products, um, so I will have a tutorial on my Instagram to go check it out. I don't know why I feel like I was like resisting loving it for some reason. Like I just was like, it's not that great, it's not that great. But then I'm always like reaching for it, always using it, and um, I feel like I have like a lot of tutorials using this, and I just. I just really love it. I think I'm just gonna have to admit that I really love this. And okay, next is eyebrow product, another Anastasia product, and that is the Brow Definer in Granite. I discovered this this year, and I discovered that my brow shade is actually Granite and not Ebony, which I've been using forever. Granite is the perfect shade for me, and I love, love this product, this Brow Definer. I use this on my brows today, and I just really love it because my brows look really natural, and they look filled in. Um, 
it's a perfect match and it's just really easy to work with you know I, I love that it's angled to one side you could use to draw a straight line under so that it looks really nice and clean and then you just like fill it in lightly and it's just again very natural definitely definitely have been loving this use this all the time way too many times probably but I can't help it it's amazing two other eye products so um, this single shadow is in the shade millionaire this is by Colourpop and it's like I feel like it's not doing any justice like you have to I have a couple tutorials using this but it's like this beautiful antique bronze kind of color which is so beautiful and I feel like it's kind of hard to find this kind of color because a lot of colors are just like gold but this is like a brown gold and I love it it has the perfect amount of glitter um you layer it on top of a chocolate brown a, a eyeshadow or even like black it's gonna look beautiful so the last eye product is this uh, this is the house of unique pigment i don't know what shade this is i feel like i think it's sunset so beautiful so pigmented like i remember the first time i used this like when i saw it applied i was just like whoa I have another one that's more like pink but i love this gold one i love this formula it's so so pretty next are the lashes that i'm wearing and the, they are by Iris Beauty. Um, they're the Athena lashes. And I think I used this about 300 times. This is like my I, this is my third one that I bought. Because I used it so many times. Like I definitely got like the most use out of them. And then I had to buy them again. Just so nice. I feel like they're just really... They're not as dramatic as some of the other lashes. But they still really like pull a look together and if i were to ever wear falsies outside which i never do i would probably wear these like to a wedding or something um the only other falsies i've ever worn outside is ardell uh, demi wispies but that's because it just looks so natural outside i feel like lashes just look really nice on uh, in pictures and like video and stuff but and uh, of course if it's like your wedding or like a big party or something but like like wearing falsies on like a normal basis i just don't Feel comfortable i feel like people look at me and think like there's like a bug on my eye or something <laughs> but you do you if you want to do that go ahead but i just don't ever next is just a personal favorite it's not something like i would recommend to everyone because i don't think anyone really needs this but this is the makeup forever flash palette it has a special place in my heart because this year i bought this this year this I, is something i've actually wanted to buy for a really long time but it's a hundred dollars so super expensive so i don't want to buy it you can see i used it a lot this year um yeah so i this is just really special to me because i use it so much during my 100 days of makeup challenge and i created some really cool looks um not to cheat my own horn on nothing but like i'm really proud of myself for this 100 years of uh makeup time i couldn't have done it without these um they're expensive but they're definitely worth it if you want to really step out and really try some like different cool looks and really get artsy and do halloween stuff if not if you're just like a natural kind of makeup person and you just like everyday kind of makeup or just simple stuff there's no point in getting this like it's gonna be such a waste but again if you do really want to be artistic i would definitely recommend this uh the colors are pigmented tiny bit goes such a long way and they're just amazing and you can create your own custom colors by mixing i just love this i just love this so much and i'm just so happy i bought this like i definitely don't regret this at all and then next i'm gonna talk about these um nail polishes these are the wet and wild nail polishes these are the regular mega loss ones they're awesome and then there's the one step gel ones that are also amazing um these nail polishes are so expensive they're like three to five dollars they're amazing they're so opaque they go on easily and they last a pretty long time these wet and wild nail polishes have definitely been my go-to nail polishes and anytime i wear these i get so many people ask me what's on your nails what's on your nails so my favorite color is wet cement is this gray one stay classy is this like lavender pink kind of color undercover and um haze of love okay so last products are lip products so the first ones I want to talk about are the ones I just mentioned in my review video of them, which was the last video I did, and that was the Wet n Wild Catsuit Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Um, I just tried these a couple weeks ago for the first time, and they're already made it to my favorites because these are incredible, you guys. The best drugstore liquid lipstick formula out there. Um, probably my favorite products of the year. But yeah, if you want to hear more about these, um, just go watch the review video. I do swatches in them as well, but definitely definitely have to include these in this video and the lipstick i'm wearing right now is uh ashton by anastasia beverly hills i just love this color i keep 
like wanting to use this in like every single look i even did a look really similar to this a couple months ago but just I mean, you guys can see it's beautiful. And then um, this is the Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Color in Hickory Smoked. Again, I've used this a whole bunch of times. It's just super flattering. I feel like this is like a perfect everyday kind of lip color. Beautiful, really matte, really velvety, like it says. Like the name is very accurate. And I love this formula. And again, super affordable. So definitely had to include this. And then the next one, I'm really surprised that I even included in this but i had to because i find like myself always wanting to use this but this is the charlotte tilbury lip cheat in iconic nude i love this formula it's very matte the perfect nude for my skin tone and i just like to apply this all over without any lipstick that's my favorite way to wear this it's just, anytime i wear like a dramatic eye or a smoky eye or something and i just want to balance it out with the lip i reach for this it's just perfect it goes with like any look really i could have even worn this with this look and the reason i'm surprised that i'm including this is because i don't normally uh like fall in love with like luxury products that much especially because i'm just like Ugh. you can find it at the drugstore for like half the price um i i feel like it's worth it and for me to say that something is worth it that's this expensive like that's that's saying something my last product is this this is this is this is this is the so susan jello shot uh, lip stain in hangover thing is just incredible this is like the perfect lip stain you guys if you want a nice flush of color to your lips like make your lips look like they're kind of bee stung and you want it to last all day long this is it like this lasts for such a long time instantly makes me look better <laughs> like, like almost every single day like i just cannot use it it's so light it's almost like water and then it just like sinks in and becomes like your lip color and you could just like rub it and scrub it and eat and it will not come off last thing is this brush right here this is the wet n wild contour brush i love actually any of these like white um handle brushes from wet n wild first of all they're super super affordable but um yeah i just been i just use this like the most probably and uh really love it so affordable definitely my favorite brushes of the year yeah I'm like looking to make sure there's nothing else that I like more. But yeah, definitely my favorite brushes of the year. They're just so affordable, but they're so good. Like, uh, when wild, you guys are like, those are amazing, just amazing. They just really did great this year. <laughs> um, so, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to check out my 2015 and 2014 best of beauty videos, I'll link those below. And, and let me know what you'd like to see next, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.